guys welcome back to Sharman's kitchen to all my viewers and all my subscribers I hope you guys are having an awesome awesome Saturday evening with your family and I know there's not much that we can do during the lockdown we're always stuck at home but last week I remember that I promised you guys when I was making my achar that I'm gonna be making seven curry this Saturday for you guys so guys I did not go back on my words I did make seven I am gonna be making seven curry today and I will um, show you guys step by step it wouldn't be um, exactly how I do from starting to end because it's gonna be a very very long video but I'm just gonna show clippings of the different dishes and it's gonna be a very nice video so hope this reminds you guys of something and bring back some memory from back home okay guys so this is recipe number one for today I'm starting first with the hardest to the least hardest so the chickpeas I had soaking overnight and this I'm gonna boil to put into the potato curry so I'm making potato and chana curry so I'm gonna put this to start boiling and then we will to show all the step as I go on. So guys, my husband is cutting up the butternut squash. I usually use butternut squash. And um, sometimes I mix it too with um, the small little green pumpkin. But um, these are two very small ones. And when they cook down, they turn to a little, little bit. So he's peeling them because the butternut squash is so hard to peel. So my husband is peeling them and he's doing it outside. Um, like real back home and it's so windy today but this is another um, vegetable so I have the chickpeas going I have he's doing the butternut squash and I'm gonna be starting soon with this the doll look how beautiful my poi bhaji is and I have a lot more like in different different pots in the backyard but these ones are the biggest and over here this can you show them over here look how beautiful those are but um, I'm not gonna pick those I'm gonna pick my chow rai which is over here and these are chow rai guys I'm picking them to add to my dish today the seven curries to look as fresh as it is from my garden and I'm gonna add these to my other um, bhaji that I have inside my poi and I have some pak choy to make the bhaji today so how 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 beautiful is that right I j I'm just picking top part and the rest is gonna grow back so I'm just cutting halfway so the rest is gonna grow back and I'm gonna get more but after I finish I'm gonna show you guys how much I get chow rai i get from the garden and guys for all those who don't know what chow rai is it's a kind of a spinach and it's really really delicious i'm gonna take it out from the bowl and i'll show you guys how much it is it's like a lot so this is going to be a very very nice um bhaji that i'm cooking today or spinach but because it comes from my own garden and they're so young so fresh so guys, this is how much I get and it's like a lot like if you buy two packs or something from the store and they're so fresh, it's going to be so delicious and so tasty. No fertilizer in my garden, not a grain of fertilizer. So I was just excited to show you guys. I just love it. So guys, the chickpeas is done. I didn't pressure it because when you soak chickpeas overnight, I find that you don't even need to cook it for long or you don't need to pressure it. So this one, you can see that they're split in the middle. It's done. I'm gonna take it off the stove and I'm gonna start cooking something else because um, we're just prepping right now. I'm just cooking and cutting and getting my season ready because I wanna cook some of these dishes outside. So guys, this is the doll. It's cooking here now. And so chickpeas is done. The doll is cooking. I have my husband cutting up the pumpkin. I'm going to wash all my spinach, um, the ones I pick in my garden and the ones that I bought from the store. And then I'm gonna start cutting up my seasoning to, 
start the cooking it's so windy outside i hope i can get to cook because yesterday i tried to cook something but because it was so windy the wind was blowing the fire away from the pot and it was taking a long time but um i'm gonna try to cook a few dishes outside and i will try my best with some help from my husband to see if we can block the wind from blowing the fire away so guys i'll take you guys through all the steps as we're going moving along i'm gonna start making the potato and chana curry outside and i have to be careful because I, the pot is a little bit too small for the stove and i'm trying to blocking block the fire from the wind so i think i can do something out here i am actually cooking some stuff inside and i'm cooking some outside so i have in here some green onion garlic pepper um i have some roasted jeera turmeric and lala curry powder and i'm gonna use this for the potato and chana curry so i just want to get everything in there and it's smelling beautiful so i'm gonna use a long spoon because i don't want my hands to burn too much so i'm gonna let this cook for a little this the heat is going all over the place i'm gonna cover it down and let it cook for a little and then we'll come back and show you guys how it looks so guys i'm checking it now and it's looking nice when it's catching on the bottom and the color change from that nice um light color to a darker color is where you want it to go and i don't, don't normally put um onion into my blend up seasoning so i have an onion here that i'm gonna add at this point and i'm gonna turn this up and then i'm gonna add my salt into here because i find when you add the salt now it helps to um nicely um get distributed nicely into the potato when i put it in so it's smelling amazing guys i promise you guys that i'm gonna make seven curry today and hope you guys like it i'm not gonna show all the step by step because it's a lot for one video but i'm gonna show as much as i can guys i just want to show you guys the butternut squash which is pumpkin and this is cooking up inside guys i put like i said i couldn't show every single step by step because it's gonna be a long video so i have green onions that i picked from my own garden i have regular onion i have some pepper and garlic lots of garlic and what i like to do for my butternut squash i always when i'm cooking pumpkin or butternut squash anything like that i like to add some roasted jeera because it adds another depth of flavor so guys i am adding it now and then this still needs to cook some more because it has a little bit i cover while i'm cooking because the steam helped to mash the pumpkin like make it very very soft so i am gonna cover it back and let it cook with the steam and on the other side of the stove and i'm gonna open that I have here the um, the spinach and this spinach is some that we bought from the store, some poi bhaji, some pak choy and some chow rai that I picked from my own garden. And in here I have garlic, pepper, green onion that I picked from my garden, regular onion and some a little bit of salt. So guys, and I have my doll is finished cooking, the rice is finished cooking, and my potato and chana is cooking outside. So I actually have one more dish to go, which is the edo and baigan, or edo and balanje, and then I'm done guys. So I'll show you guys step by step as I go along. So this is what I have going right now inside and as soon as one thing finish i'm gonna put on another one and i'll show you guys everything all together check the spinach or the baji and it looks like if it's done and this is mixed with three different kind of spinach the bok choy um poi baji and the um chow rai. so 
so guys this is done and like i said the pumpkin is almost done too i'm gonna show you guys so let me just get the lid to the thing to take off the lid and this is done too see i just want a little bit more of the water to cook through and then this is going to be done in a few minutes and the uh, potato and chan is finishing off to outside my husband is watching it for me so we have three things going right now and like i said you prep you peel your onions garlic get your seasoning on the side like what for the curry dishes i blend up all my seasoning so once i start cooking you don't stop you just keep going when one dish is done you put on the other dish so i have three that's almost near to finish i have the dal is done and the rice and then once i take these off the last dish the edom balanje or the edom baigan i'm putting that on and that will be the last one and i'll show you guys guys so this is the last dish i'm on and this is the baigan and edo curry so i just want to share something with you guys when i'm making baigan and egg curry i like to leave some of the skin on i don't leave all of it i leave i will peel part leave part peel part like that because i find the skin is very very delicious in eggplant and i think all the flavor is under the skin and look how young this one is this is going to make a super super nice um edo and baigan curry so guys i just just wanted to share that with you guys and you you can take it off if you like but if you never try it and you're willing to do so it's really really flavorful and tasty so if you can't have the skin don't please don't put it in but if you don't have a problem adding skin into it try it one day maybe don't put as much as i put in but um put in a little bit less and see how you like it for me i find there is a lot of flavor in it and it makes the dish taste even better guys this is the edo and baigan and now i'm gonna add some water in here and i'm gonna let this cook until the edo and the baigan is nice and soft and then once it's done we're gonna um we're gonna take it off and the i know the baigan is very young so i can see, see it's catching like it's melting already so it's just the edos now to be cooked and we're gonna be ready all the dishes are done this is the last one so guys here is all the dishes and i um i did the doll i did doll i did pumpkin i have some rice here i have this one is the edo and balanje or the edo and baigan curry i have the achar because seven curry cannot go without achar this is the spinach or the baji and at the back here i have potato and chana curry so guys before i remember back home you have to wait until somebody have an indian wedding or somebody have a prayer before you can eat this kind of food but guys i'm telling you you don't have to wait until you go to a wedding because for sure this year there's no wedding and i don't think people are gonna have prayer this year because you can't gather but you can always make this dish in your own home guys but remember it takes preparation so if you are gonna try this dish one day you have to get some help or prepare from the night before you peel your pumpkin or your butternut squash that i use from the night before you can start um cutting up your spinach from the night before not so fast jesse okay. and um make sure that you have your garlic and your onion and everything peeled before but i can't take all the credit for this i did the cooking but my husband helped me to peel and cut up the pumpkin because we, I used a butternut squash and it was very hard. Him, my husband and Natalie cut up the pumpkin and my husband cut up the spinach and my two daughters peeled the garlic and the onion. My son was getting me um, water when I ready filtered water and he was going downstairs to get me like potatoes and stuff when I need. So it was a teamwork, but guys, um, 
I did with their help so I don't want to take all the credit so if you're making this dish make sure you have some help and don't talk about all the dishes you're gonna have because um, while I was cooking I was doing my dish so today is a hot hot day my kids are waiting patiently so I'm gonna plate and let you guys see and I keep my promise my friends so let me plate now so guys, this is how I plate it out. I usually put a little bit of rice, make a little hole here to put the dal inside. And I have my potato and chana on this side, curry. I have my pumpkin here and I have my potato, baigan and potato curry here. I have the spinach and I like to put the achar on top of the rice so you know just in case if you, you don't take your spoon and make a big dip with all the achar and put it in your mouth, it's gonna be very, very hot. So this dish, guys, are very, very, it is actually very good for um, my vegetarian friends. It is um, a dish without any meat, so sometimes I like to make this and I make it frequently in my house because if you wanna stay away from meat and fish and you wanna just have some vegetable for a weekend sometimes I do that because last weekend we had so much chicken fish and all kinds of stuff during the week so this week we're just gonna this dish is gonna last us today tomorrow and probably some of maybe one and two of the dishes are gonna be in the week and you can always make some roti or something for it but it's a good way to stay away from meat and um, to if you want to do a cleanse and you are looking to um eat some vegetarian food and sometimes you don't know what these are amazing spinach is really really nutritious butternut squash is nutritious the chickpeas and potatoes very very nutritious dal is very nutritious and the edos is rich rich in iron with the bygone and guys to top it off with this dish you have gotta have mango achar so i have it here i take it out and i'm gonna do the taste test and let you guys know how it tastes. A bit of everything. And this is the Edo and the Baigan. So you take a little bit of that and you put it here. And a little bit of spinach, a little bit of the pumpkin. And some, I'm drooling guys. I'm absolutely drooling. I'm not telling any lies. And um, you mix that up. And then you take your achar, how much you like. And this is what we do and you know what today was a nice day to make some sweet rice or parsad right Jess yeah but it was a lot of cooking guys I'm not gonna lie I'm tired my feet are like so tired so guys this is it I hope you guys like the step I didn't do um, step by step for all the dishes because it would be such a long video but I promise you guys I was gonna make the seven curry and I did it this dish goes well with katahar curry but i don't i couldn't find it and to find it you will only get the frozen one and i never like to cook the frozen one so cheers guys for all my viewers and all my subscribers and all my vegetarian friends and my guyanese friends who like seven curry cheers mm. guys so so good i can't believe it and the good thing about it there's enough flavor from everything enough salt content enough pepper everything is so flavorful i am so happy right now guys i'm so excited the way it turned out so i have to take seconds mm. hope you guys can try this one day but remember you'll need some help and you can prep from before i didn't prep from before because i had help from my kids and my husband and everything and guys for all my vegetarian friends, if you some days you run out of ideas, this is a perfect thing to make or some of the dishes that you can make. So until then, have a wonderful, wonderful Saturday evening. Bye for now. I'm going to be enjoying this today.